Can I put it up a translation for me? You can translate this so that you can have for example the call meaning. Some kind of investigations, 
you had to use the validity you know, uh, uh, investigation. Uh, especially when you want to see the what is happening inside. So, if for continuity of research reliability refer to the extent to which the finding can be replicated. I mean, that whether it will be the same when you do the research again in other setting, in other school. For quality research, we do, actually we do not complete reliability, and we do not depend on ability. Uh, now, in quality research, uh, you know, the results, whether the results are dependable or not, uh, just working or not, is most important. So, uh, that's why later on in our discussion, you will see that the experience of the researcher is very important in order to ensure uh, uh, the uh, reliability Triangulation. Triangulation. Just one technique I will mention here. 
we use lots of methods, lots of techniques. The experience of the researcher is also another factor in ensuring the credibility of quality research. And lastly, the philosophy that we adopt in conducting quality research is also important. When we look at quality research, we need to see from the point of naturalistic inquiry. We see the issues within a natural setting, within a context. Uh, you cannot take a student into the uh, chemistry lab or the biology lab uh, and, and ask them to do this and do that to measure. But you need to do an uh, experiment inside a natural setting, and inside the, the, the school, uh, the actual classes. All right. So, lots of techniques and methods in order to ensure the credibility, uh, the experience of the researcher, and the young person. Now, the quality data, the people have been in the, what people say, uh, what people do, what people say here, to be collected here, easily. What people do, you observe. Uh, it can be your own descriptions uh, of what things look like, uh, of what an event is like. So you want to investigate, let's say, weapon or command people. Yeah. In that say, uh, uh, you need to use a lot of your know, personal description uh, It can be uh, the you know systems of the procedure of an organization. So if you want to uh, do a research on improving the work efficiency inside the department of index. You need to spend at least several days and several weeks to observe everything, how students come into the office, uh, what sort of jobs, what sort of tasks uh, are there uh, that the people need to solve, uh, and uh, what kind of people uh, uh, the illustrators can in contact. All of those things need to get into the Artifacts in writing, it can be images. I mean, the, um, the data of the quality research can be, you know, uh, very different coming from uh, lots of sources. If you, let's say, if you study about the command people. Uh, a Google Maps that you observe 
and you learn uh, the strategies, how to take it to reality. It can be a shocking experience. It can be a people's behavior when they get on the bus. Do they find each other? Do they feel that before they get on the bus? Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 When do you get a family So you see, okay, these kind of investigations are actually a more you know, interesting okay, to the reader than the natural you know, uh, science in front of So, okay. 
for example, you want to investigate uh, the row, the class monitor, uh, and and and, uh, and the and the atmosphere of the class. Right. So in this case, I do not have any fixed schedule. I just come to any class, but uh, class is not available, and I ask to the class monitor question that you know going about a topic. Uh, how do you handle conflicts in your class? Uh, how do you get support from your friends? Uh, how do you deal with unity inside your class? Things like that. And I write reports. Focus group is simply you know, interview with my group. Uh, not uh, with only one or two. So, uh, they kind of interviews can have their own strength and weaknesses. Uh, with the structure interview, they are easy to do, but you need to prepare the interview question. Find out the right need. Uh, in a focus group, for example, you have to say the time. Right? But there's a transcribed. Uh, 
for example, when we uh, learn about, when we I do a research about uh, language and power in political speech, right? I will try to, okay, I will try to see how many times the politicians use I, how many times the politicians use we, because those two pronouns met, okay, uh, lots of differences in, you know, uh, Thank you. 
you have the frequency of word in a text, it can be to organize the numbers. Uh, I do not use a Bible. Uh, I'm not familiar with it, but I use one note of Microsoft Office. We consider more powerful than than, than Bible, but uh, it cannot count the frequencies of words. So it really depends on um, your, your needs. Um, if you use Microsoft OneNote, have you ever tried that? Microsoft OneNote. Have you ever heard that? But okay, if you install the packet, you will see options, right? So somebody try to play around with OneNote.
I fly it along with the system now and breathe some a simple technology.
And in this way, Hi, my name is Kathy, and in this video, I will show you how to use OneNote for research. So, one cool thing about OneNote is that when you copy or paste something from the internet onto the document, it will cite your sources. So, for example, if I'm doing a research on cats, and I copy this text into OneNote, it will actually cite my sources so that I can actually go back to it and to re reference to it later on. Another cool feature of OneNote is that you can actually do a screen clipping, meaning you can, I can go to my picture or go to my cat website and click screen clipping and actually cut out this picture and it will go on to OneNote and cite its sources. So if you like this video, please take a minute to fill our survey for a chance to win a one month Xbox Live Gold Man. To shop as well. Now, one of the have a lot of functionality to keep you uh, keep your notes on track. When you uh, do a research on a website, for example, the traditional way to save website that you like. And later on you do not know where to find a link or not. You don't know where to make references. You can't go back to that. So one note will you know take care of that for you. You only keep copy the text and when you paste, you can also copy the link on the website. Uh, you can also take snapshots, okay, the pictures on the website, and you come in. And if you want to move the note to some okay, other pages, okay, you can right click and you know, move to the other pages. Uh, what I really love about one note is the shut power. Uh, it, it can actually shut very quickly and very now, let's have a look at Every day we're faced with questions and challenges that we need to investigate, understand, explain, and find answers to. And we look to information to help us get there, which is rarely just numbers. Hi, I'm Anita, and I'd like to introduce you to Envivo 9. Envivo 9 is software that helps you to easily organize and analyze unstructured information so you can arrive at findings fast. Work systematically and effectively extract all the value from your information. Rigorously back up your findings with evidence. Collaborate efficiently with your colleagues. Effortlessly share your output with others. You might be evaluating social policy. You might be reviewing feedback to improve your customer service. You might be researching product innovation or undertaking postgraduate research. Whatever your information, whatever your materials, whatever your workplace and whatever your project, Envivo lets you work your way and provides you with a workspace to efficiently guide you from questions to outcomes. Developed by QSR International, Envivo is used in many ways by more than 400,000 people in 150 countries, including organisations like Yale University, World Vision Australia, Columbia University and the UK Policy Studies Institute. Over the next few minutes, we'll take you through a project so you can see exactly how in the...
helps you to find the answers to the questions and challenges you face every day. Enjoy the tour. How you go about finding answers and making sense of information makes all the difference to the outcomes you're after. Let's say you're investigating the impact of a huge oil spill and there are emergency funds available for programs to address the effects of the spill on the local community. To submit your funding application by the deadline, you need to identify the areas where the need is greatest. With NVivo 9, you can quickly identify the oil spill's most significant impacts. Remember how thrilled you were when you finally found the perfect place to put your keys when you came home? Always in the same place, always easily accessible? Now you can have the same sort of place for all your information. My name is Aicha, and I want to show you how Microsoft OneNote 2010 has made me a saner person since I started using it to keep my notes, ideas, meetings, all the information I need for work and home in one place. Here's what OneNote looks like. It's made up of notebooks. This one is where my team and I store information for a product roadshow we're planning. It's our one place to store all our thoughts, clippings, text we scan from books, things I find on the internet, maps, audio, or video clips, anything we come across during our planning stage. And OneNote makes it easy to organize it all with pages and tabs just like a real notebook. Having all this information in one place is much more powerful for me than keeping it in my memory, and much more searchable than keeping it in my desk drawer or file cabinet. One thing that makes the content in OneNote so searchable is that I can create custom tags to help identify each type of information I'm storing. So for instance, each of these tags here in my notebook holds ideas for a different state we'll be visiting on our roadshow. Using the contextual help in the ribbon at the top of the page, I've created tags to identify each topic type. So it's easy to immediately find what I'm looking for with just a click. And with OneNote search, I can just type in what I'm looking for here and the results show where my phrase comes up across multiple notebooks. The results are grouped by recent picks, titles of notebooks with that phrase in them, and body copy that includes that phrase. So it's simple to hover over the results and pretty much browse through my entire library of notebooks from one spot. Now let's talk about sharing notebooks. OneNote gives you anywhere access to your work, with phone, desktop, and browser capabilities all available out of the box. Since the last time I accessed this notebook, I can see right away there have been additions. What I haven't read is highlighted for me, and bolded tabs like these let me know they include content I haven't read before. Over here, I can access different page versions to see past versions that were edited by different people. So no matter where I am these days, I always have access to the one place I know I can put information, find information, and share information because I've got a place for everything and everything in its one new place. Thanks for joining me today. Okay. So if I want to see the notes, the tab is to keep the notes. Let me come back here. See how the video is talking? It doesn't want to know what it is. Beautiful. I think it's time to stop. Uh, uh.
uh, for the, uh, the homework, I want you to go back and look at the symbol. You know, if not really the surface of the symbol. Next week, we, uh, we go to the case study. Before we leave, any questions or comments?